Podcast. Mike's Daily Podcast. It's Cafe Anyway where we are, and it's the show called Mike's Daily Podcast. Do you know what I did the other day? I bought a keyboard, the musical kind like you hear behind me, and I was floored because when I got it, it didn't sound like this nice piano behind me. And you know what it sounded like? Actually, it sounded... It sounded like when you check something... Mike's Daily Podcast. When you buy something at the grocery store and they scan it, that beep! That's what it sounded like, that beeping sound. Mike's Whenever you... Daily Adjusted the volume... Podcast. Or did anything like that. Yeah! I have to tell you, I don't think I've ever said this on the podcast, the keyboard that you just heard, the piano... I used a nano piano for that, something that my friend John years and years and years ago got me. We went in, oh, I think, uh, we went in halves, halvesies on something that I think he ordered through a catalog. This is how far back it goes. Oh, yeah, it was something, he ordered something that he needed for his guitar and I needed something, I wanted this nano he convinced me to get this nano piano it it uses technology i don't even know if this works anymore it's got midi midi technology so if your keyboard has a midi output you connect it to this nano piano and this little box puts out like all these different really professional sounding keyboard sounds i don't even know if they make it anymore all i know is i had a lot of fun playing with it as you can hear and I actually recorded this keyboard sound, this uh, little accompaniment, back in 2009. That's how far back this is, 14 years ago. Wow. And this is FF episode 2653. Wow, wow. 2653. And Mike, a little bit tired today because... And here's today's podcast picture. I started out in Podcastro Valley. In fact, the podcast picture is of Lake Chabot in Podcastro Valley when my lovely lady friend and I were on it on a little pedal paddle boat, like bike pes- paddle, paddling pedals, bicycle pedal type things, and you can pedal paddle around the lake. We did that a couple weeks ago. Ah, oh, the late great Basil the Boxer, he actually went with us on the lake. I think this was 2018. We took him out there. He didn't like it. But that was fun. We got some pictures and it was one of the great memories of all time for us, my lovely lady friend and I. But yeah, we were out on that lake and it can be as hot as it is today. And it's going to get even hotter tomorrow in the Bay Area, particularly in the East Bay. And you can still feel pretty cool out there on the lake the miracle of some lakes to keep you cold not all will do it some lakes you feel twice as hot when you're on the lake so what I also discovered was when you buy these keyboards so it sounded great on Amazon oh by the way the last podcast picture was of the wonderful Rocky the cat who took a gash at my stomach yesterday And that was nice, like just before the podcast. But you can see him looking all sweet sitting on my lovely lady friend's shoes. Life grand. 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 So this morning I was in Podcaster Valley, then I ended up in Fremont. And I had to do something there for my job. And then um, right afterwards, walked around. And there's a big old Fremont Art Festival happening and lots of booths and food. And I got two free bags, like canvas type bags that I will use over and over again. One from Half Price Books. That's a local used bookstore, sort of a big used bookstore, kind of almost Barnes and Noble size. Reminds me a little bit in the South they have, I don't know, they still have it. Books a Million. It's a little bit like that, only it doesn't have a coffee bar. The Books A Million coffee bar is called Joe's or something Joe's. Cup of Joe's or something. So, no, yes, half price book, little bag. I got that and then also got a bag from the County of Alameda, in which I pay taxes for. 
And I live in and I reside The county of Alameda Podcaster Valley is unincorporated So we rely a lot on the county of Alameda For all their things they have Like sheriffs And uh, What uh, road Fixers Constructions Peoples Sanitation etc Oh Sanitation's really great I got a song here about it Now I'm gonna stop it Okay Yeah And now I'm in Podcaster Valleyton And it's uh, some some That song distracted me So I had to take a moment Did you know but back to Fremont There was a recent report Called the 2023 State by State Bill Pay Market Report It found that Fremont is the number 45 most expensive city in California for household bills. Oh, Alameda County, uh, which is where Fremont resides in as well. They had a booth there at that Fremont Art Festival and they were giving away free bags. And they said, but we would like to know if you have any input for us. Awesome. Oh, 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 I like this. Mike likes to give input. Here it is You guys have This horrible website Where If there is a Traffic signal out A a light A red light That's that's not Turning green And it just sits there Red all day You have to break the law To get through the intersection And I want to complain On your website Nothing I guess I could call Your phone number But no I want to go to your website Easy peasy Just give you the, My input And the guy said Oh that's a great idea Yeah Why He didn't know About that He was a young guy So he gave me a bag And a lanyard And a little ruler And a little light To put on my bike When I'm riding at night But I don't have a bike Because I'm Mike And I walk at night And that's cool So I'll have that And a little bumper sticker that I don't put bumper stickers on my car Just like everybody Nobody puts bumper stickers on their cars anymore Because they're too dang expensive This is interesting Wow, this is interesting So, I'll put it on the desk And the first podcast that I ever did Was called Mike's Messy Desk Or The Messy Desk, I think is what we called it This is way before they came out with NPR came out with their little desk Tiny desk concerts I was thinking about the desk before that Look at me no, not that important, really, that somebody was bound to come up with that. So, number 43. The As we go outside a cafe anyway, we're bringing Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Podcaster Valleyton. The last place on earth. I guess the average monthly payment in Fremont for a mortgage is $3,161. The average monthly payment for rent is $2,607. I could see where if you were renting and you're going, oh, if I just paid a little more, I could use it for a mortgage. But just remember, then you're on the hook for everything that goes wrong with the house that you're buying. (laughs) All right, and it's it's a lot more responsibility, a lot more headache. Whereas you got your nice little apartment with the air conditioning, hopefully, and a pool. And if anything goes wrong, you complain to the landlord or the guy that manages things locally. Yes, I know. And it says here for utilities, four hundred dollars. Wow. That was sent to me from insights.doxo.com. Okay, what else? Let's see. We have other interesting things here that the, the, you know, they did a rate hike recently and people were like, what? I thought we were going to stop with the rate hikes, Federal Reserve. What's going on with that? Which makes things like those home loans more expensive, those uh, mortgages rather. So the Federal Reserve raised the borrowing rate by a quarter of a point. The federal fund rate, and this is to try and tame inflation, the federal fund rate is the interest rate at which banks borrow and lend to one another overnight, because they like to do that overnight while you're sleeping. This hike, now the 11th interest rate increase since March of last year, that's 11, 11 of them, that's right, 
in a little over a year we've done 11 of these will send financing costs higher for many forms of consumer borrowing and a breakdown of what this means for your bottom line as assembled by Rob Black who does a podcast that I produce called The Rob Black Show Rob Black and Your Money and you can find that anywhere you get your podcasts and he came up with some of these very helpful money tips and this is what the breakdown is for the rate hike what it means to you credit card rates are at record highs the average credit card rate is now more than 20 percent that is an all-time high nearly half of credit card holders carry debt carry card debt credit card debt from month to month that's half half of them but if you get offended that's the way the cookie crumbles no. <laughs> wow so if you are in that boat i am sorry but that is you you've got half of credit card users are in the same boat with you i and i know a lot of people that when they finally pay off that debt they say no more credit cards no more and then they go with the debit cards which that has its own list of problems involved with it but still altogether this rate hike will cost credit card users at least an additional 1.72 billion dollars in interest charges over the next 12 months so try and work towards that 0% balance and consider Rob says a 0% balance transfer card mortgage rates will stay high the average rate for a 30 year fixed rate mortgage sits at nearly 7% home buyers are going to pay roughly $11,160 more over the life of the loan now what that life is how long is that life of that loan 10 years 20 I don't know fair and unbalanced if you're planning to buy a car you'll shell out 2400 to 5 thousand dollars more in interest over the loan the average rate on a five-year new car loan is already at 7.2 percent the highest in 15 years so 7.2 percent now last year was 5.2 so two percent ditch points lower some student loans are pricier federal student loan rates will pay an interest rate of five point Five percent up from four point nine nine percent in the twenty two to twenty three academic year. You know, that's a little bit higher, not well, ginormously higher. But the good news savings rates have soared, online savings account rates are now more than five percent. So you can certainly make money. Like, let's say, if you happen to have $100,000 and you put it into one of these savings accounts, you could make something like, uh, what, is that 400 a month? Am I, I may have that math all wrong. 500, 300, I forget. But you can make some money now just for saving your money. So look around on online savings accounts. Consult a professional. If you need more info on that. So I am working for a company now that is doing a lot of cutbacks, cutbacks, cutbacks and scrutinizing every little thing that every employee does and saying, do we really need this? Do we really need that? And as a manager, I get my took us drag through it all and I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I have expressed this to my boss. How much I don't like it. He's tried to calm me down on several occasions, but still the fact remains that I don't like it. I can't make myself like Wine. it. Well, I like it. The whiny white man whine list. Meta, Facebook, Threads, Instagram, whatever you want to call that company, Mark Zuckerberg's company. Their shares have surged more than 8%. They have posted the stronger than expected results, gave strong guidance. Their revenue jumped jumped 11% from a year ago. They're now at $32 billion in revenue. Their Facebook tops 3 billion monthly users. That baffles me. I don't understand how Facebook is still a thing. Here in 2023... 
but it has just permeated everybody. Everybody, like when Facebook came out, the people that started it, like in their 40s doing Facebook, they're now getting into their 50s and 60s. So, yeah, you've got senior citizens. I'm almost a senior citizen myself using the dang Facebook. Grew up with the dang Facebook. Kids hate the Facebook. First of all, I just want to just um, thank everyone for joining us here on this show. This is great. The results reflect a rebound in online advertising and Zuckerberg's year of efficiency on focus cutting costs, focusing on cutting costs and improving profitability. Let go a bunch of people. Results showed strong engagement, rising monetization of its TikTok rival called Reels. I didn't even know about that. Reels? Huh. As well as return on investments in artificial intelligence. Reels appears to be taking market share from TikTok, which is a major competitive threat. Now, that in and of itself is fascinating to me. I never even heard of this Reels. All I hear is TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. And I hate TikTok. I'm not going to be on TikTok. My, what I do, I don't want to be on video. I don't want you to see my old face. What I do is more a sound audio related field so that you can go about and do your own thing and use your eyes for other things rather than looking at my silly, crazy old face. <laughs> you know, if you really want to see video of me, there is video of me deep in the YouTube page that I have at youtube.com slash Mike's Daily Podcast. But that's really not, I don't understand. I think you'd be more uh, benefited It'd be more of a benefit to you to go to my channel to check out the playlist that I made called Best Obscure Rock Songs Found by Mike Matthews. I've got that playlist going. It's got way over 100 songs and some great stuff on there. Oh, so check it out (laughs) if you do go to YouTube. So that's but that's a Google thing. That's not a meta thing. So Reels is appearing to take market share from TikTok. Uh, which is a competitive threat, not to be confused with threads, which that's something else that Meta's doing. Meta's investments in the metaverse posted an operating loss of $3.7 billion, now has lost over $40 billion. This metaverse thing was not a good idea. Let's be real. We are all getting sick and tired of hearing about multiverse, universe, Marvel universe, metaverse, the DC, DC tried to get into it with the, the Flash, with all that stuff. Yes, okay, DC Comics had that in their comic books years and years ago, but translating that to a movie when Marvel already did it with Doctor Strange and Spider-Man, it's, come on. And the, the Avengers and everything everywhere all at once, that's not Marvel, but still, we're getting sick of it, apparently. I don't know, I could be wrong with that. But the metaverse is a, is got a loss going. And Mark Zuckerberg says Meta will pour enough gasoline on threads. And I am on threads. I think it's uh, Mike's Daily Podcast.threads.com or something like that. But I'm on there. And that will they're gonna pour enough gasoline on it to make it grow when it's ready for prime time. If you have an Instagram account, which I do, also Mike's Daily Podcast Mike's Daily Podcast is the Instagram. Is the handle for on Instagram for this show and for me? Uh, if you got that, then they easily can make you a Threads. It, it just you press a button and suddenly you've got a Threads account. Voila, like that. It is unbelievable. Hey, look who's outside a cafe anyway, somewhere in Podcastro Valley, to the last place on earth. Hi, Mark. It's been you here. Wow. Are you okay? Nilly, what's going on with her? Hi, Mac. It's Benita the Rodeo Queen. How y'all doing? It's a disgruntled up there, tell you what. What? She was a little bit distracted because I tickled her right when she was talking. Did you know that you can't tickle yourself? Where'd you hear that? I think it was in a Snapple lid somewhere. Oh, that's right. I think Lovely Lady Friend may have read that when she was on the podcast with me. Somewhat recently But yes I tried it I tried it right now Nothing Nothing happened Nothing Wow Mark That's really cool Yeah this is more of an Audio adventure It's not really What you call A visual one Visual Ridiculous 
That's right, visual is ridiculous. Look who else is here. Hello, Mac. I make the delicious root beer. Has there an Oh, let me try that. It looks good. Um. Mmm. Oh, what is in that? Peppermint. Oh, peppermint, right. Peppermint root beer. It's almost like a peppermint schnapps thing. No, that's all right. Okay, you know what it is time for? Because I know you've waited long enough. It's time for the Let's Go Back with Matthew. Let's, Let's go, go back, back with, with Matthew. Matthew segment. Yes, we're going to go back. Let's go back, back, but back, back. We're going back to April Fool's Day, 1994. So 30 years ago? Really? Wow. 30, almost 30 years ago. And yours truly was in his 20s. And <laughs> I was on a radio station called Kehe, and I was so happy to hear somebody I used to work with. I thought possibly he might have died. But he's on Facebook. And he reached out to me Because a recent podcast I had a picture of myself And my lovely lady friend Is the podcast picture And he said Oh wow you're getting gray Which is probably The dumbest thing To say to somebody He's he's the same age as me If not older And he's Pointing that out I'm like yeah Uh huh Right <laughs> It's something That happens by the time you reach 50, if you're not turning gray... MTV News. You hear it first. You're coloring it up and not telling people. It's the deal I have found. Right? Good. I'm glad he's alive. And he used to work on this radio station that I'm about to play you. It's a country station called K-Hey. And here's a little bit of it. April Fool's Day, I used to do this show on the radio called the K-Hey Santa Fe Cafe. And similar to this podcast where we say we're at cafe anyway, we were at this mythical restaurant called the Santa Fe Cafe. And it was a country show. People called in with requests. I played with the listeners. And I played these things. Yes, okay, it's kind of reminiscent for me. And going, oh, look at this. This is what I used to do. Oh, wow, I sounded even younger than I sound now. Wish I looked as young as I sound, but you know... There was a time when you could do all kinds of fun, crazy things on the radio. And this is why I do it. To show that that radio has that potential. It can come back again at some point. But it requires talented people to be behind it and to want it. And it requires the listeners to want it as well. Okay, here's a little bit of it from almost 30 years ago. 7 KHAY 10 in a row continuous new country it's Billy Ray Cyrus words by heart this is Matt Michaels I'm standing outside in the cold night air the KH Santa Fe Cafe maybe you can hear them in the background they are having lots of fun hear them over there they won't let me in jeez they locked me out maybe I'll, I'll here's a phone here I'll call up maybe I can get a hold of somebody on the inside hello hi Margaret Margaret this is Matt Matt? Yeah, hey, this is not a funny no, joke. No, I can open the door. Open the door. Why not? Please. Jim's barricading it. Well, open the door. Can you... I think it's a pretty funny joke. I don't think it is. I think it's pretty stupid. Well, you can just stand out there in the cold. I... But please... He's bigger than I am. <laughs> well, I gotta go. People need root beer. Oh. Bye. Well, that sure works. What a great April Fool's Day joke they're pulling out of here. Well, maybe I should just take it easy. Yeah. 100.7 KHAY, 10 in a row, continues a new country at the K A Santa Fe Cafe. This is Jim the Janitor. We locked Matt Michaels outside the cafe. So I'm taking care of your request. Walk it off. Uh, hello, who's this? This is Desperate again. Ah, uh, Desperate? Yes. A woman that's named Desperate. Oh, yes, I heard you on Santa Fe Cafe. Uh, 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 a couple days ago. Yeah? Yeah. Very good. What song do you want to uh, hear? Tatahoochee. You're probably wondering where Matt is, don't you? Yeah. He's outside. Let me in, guys. Come on, please. Come on. Okie dokie. 100.7 K-H-A-Y. 
97.7 KHAY, 10 in a row, continuous new country. It's Matt Michaels, and that's uh, Restless Heart with Dancy's Dream. You can hear the KH Santa Fe Cafe over there in the distance. They're having a lot of fun in there. I've been locked out, though, as part of an April Fool's Day joke, which I don't find very funny. In fact, I'm going to try and call again. Got Margaret last time. She, she was a little help. Yeah, Margaret, Matt, please open know, the door. I've been wanting to talk to you. What? No, I don't want to talk about oh. your problems right now. Open the Look, door. This place is so crowded. There's people everywhere. Yeah, let the me in. People are sloppy, messy, Yeah, yeah and I don't dirty. care. Let me in now. And I don't know what to do. I think that since you are the DJ, you should take care of this problem. Or at least you should mop the floor. What should I do? And you know they tip lousy? Have yeah. I mentioned that before? Yeah, you probably have. Now, can you just let me in, please? Oh, man. Jeez. This is Jim the janitor inside the K. Hey Santa Fe Cafe taking your requests at 656-650-K-H-A-Y. Hello there. Hi. Hi, this is Jim the janitor. How are you tonight? I'm fine. How are you? Oh, I'm Ducky. I'll get off. Okay. What? What's your name? What's my name? Yeah. Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Hi. My mother's name, Michelle. Oh, that's nice. God bless her. What song do you want to hear? Oh, I'd like to hear 18 Wheels and a Dozen Roses. 18 Wheels and a Dozen Roses. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Wait, I have to stop it right there. So that because <laughs> Leroy Parnell, oh dang, Leroy Parnell, I miss hearing his stuff. Such a great slide guitar player. He was really big about that time in the early '90s. That was about '94 that that happened. April Fool's Day '94. Margaret, by the way, Margaret, the waitress that you heard, she got married and she's somewhere living near Podcastro Valley. With her family I think she's got a couple kids So I do not think she listens to this podcast Good for her But if she did She'd probably hear herself and go Wow That was me 30 years ago Yes So the April Fool's Day joke Was me being locked out of the cafe I went by Matt back then Flipped my name around To Matt Michaels And yeah Oh But that is bizarre right That Margaret lives somewhere near me Here in the Bay Area Because this show took place in Ventura County, closer to Southern California there in Los Angeles. So, Leroy Parnell. Oh, he had a great song, When a Woman Loves a Man, with Trisha Yearwood singing on there. That was a great song. Early 90s. Okay, a little bit more of this. 100.7 KHAY. 10 in a row, continuous new country. Leroy Parnell, I'm holding my own. This is Matt Michaels. I snuck into the cafe. No one's noticed me yet. <laughs> I went in through this like little crack in the back. There is like a little like really faulty architecture in here. Even when they revamped it a couple months ago, they, they didn't catch that one crack and I snuck in right through there. Oh, wait, here comes Margaret. Margaret. I snuck in through the back there, through the through the that little crack in the wall in the back there in the alley. Why are you late? What? Because you guys locked me out. You and that stupid Jim the janitor guy locked me out. Oh yeah, I forgot you weren't here. What? You mean I don't make that big of an impression? <laughs> well, there's less of a mess. Oh, thanks, Margaret. God bless you, Margaret. <laughs> Okay, it's time now for the K. Hey Country Quiz. The K. Hey Country Quiz. Which singer will be featured posing with his Harley in a new motorcycle magazine? More clues coming up on the Hot New Country Quiz on 100.7 K. H. A. Y. Drive in and... What? Who's... Oh. Huh? With his motorcycle... There, that was probably Billy Ray Cyrus whose daughter is now the biggest thing since sliced bread with her song flowers. But yes, well, boy, that you know what? So I started taking over and doing the Santa Fe Cafe show from this other guy back around just before this recording. Ah, it all makes sense now. I ended up doing it for 11 years. Let's find out the Drive answer. Away. 
Hopefully. Though this singer is closely associated with a certain car, he usually tools around on a custom Harley Davidson. In fact, he's so into his bike that he recently posed with it for a photo spread in Big Twin, a new motorcycle magazine. One of the singer's videos featured a stock car owned by his pal, race car driver Mark Martin. But this singer is something of a race car driver himself. He's attended NASCAR driver's training school and even holds the student track record of over 160 miles per hour. Can you name this singer who rides a Harley but got his big break because of a Cadillac? Give me a call, 656 or 650 K H A Y. If you're able to answer the question correctly, you'll win a Naomi Judd's Random House audiobook, Love Can Build a Bridge, for 100.7 K H A Y. Here's John and Denise Alamillo to tell you Toronto Auto Center. K H A Y 101 Weather. We're going to have low clouds tonight and tomorrow morning, turning to hazy sunshine by late morning. Highs tomorrow are going to be in the low 70s. Sunday, low clouds becoming partly cloudy and a little cooler by afternoon. Highs will be in the 60s. Currently, Port Wayne has 53, Camarillo 52, and it's 54 in Ventura at Continuous New Country with brand new Reba. 100.7 7 K-H-A-Y, 10 in a row, continuous new country. That's Reba McIntyre. And everybody, oh, by the way, that's Why Haven't I Heard From You. It's uh, from Read My Mind. It's coming up. It's going to be released pretty soon. Nancy is with us tonight in the cafe. Nancy, why Why is everybody saying Alan Jackson? That's not the right answer. It says he's on his front of this cassette with a motorcycle and a motorcycle jacket. Oh, okay. Well, it's not Alan Jackson. Let me give you one more hint to the K Hey New Country quiz. This guy has an affinity for trailers. Now, 656 or 650 KHAY will win the audiobook from Naomi Judd. Here's Clint Black. Uh-huh. 100.7 KHAY, 10 in a row, continuous new country, and Clint Black. A good run of bad luck from No Time to Kill. It's Matt Michaels here at the KHAY Santa Fe Cafe. And let's see if we got a winner here. Do you know what the answer is? Yeah, is it Sammy Kershaw? Yes, it is. Congratulations. What's your name? My name is Miguel Vasquez. Miguel Vasquez. Congratulations. You won the latest from Naomi Judd, the audiobook, Love Can Build a Bridge, the story of the Judds, as told by Naomi. Thanks, Miguel. What gave it away? Um, Just now that you said... Uh uh, he loves trailers. Ah, yes. Queen of my double wife. Yeah, and then his uh, one video, um, Take Me, Send Me North, Send Me South, Just Don't Send Me Past My House, where he's in the um, race car. Uh-huh. And you were saying something about a race car there. So yeah, I that kind of caught on. <laughs> right. Well, Mc- what station has more chances for you to win? K-H-A-Y. Welcome to... 100. Good job, Miguel. Miguel Vasquez. Good job. Well... I think we learned a lot from today's show that (laughs) if it's uh, that time goes by and suddenly you don't sound what? Oh, and then about 10 years later, it sounded more like this, that show and yours truly. The Santa Fe Cafe. Kristen, the Dixie Chicks. It's 100.7 KHAY. I'm at Michael's at the KHAY Santa Fe Cafe. The KHAY Cafe question, faithful hair. (laughs) Yes or no? (laughs) Faithful hair. What in the heck? See, that's what happens when you have some of the really strong root beer here at the KHAY Santa Fe Cafe. Your tongue goes into a coma. You can also email me at matt at khay.com. Oh, let's go back here. I have been wanting to talk to Matt Rudebega. Matt Rudebega, what do you think the answers to the KH Catholic question tonight? Facial hair, yes or no? Matthew, I really enjoy the facial hair. Okay. Yes. Wow. You really like men with facial hair? Man, no. On myself, I like the facial hair. Um, well, that's what that was. I just thought you liked drinking chocolate milk. or her own. George Strait Oceanfront Property. If you leave me. I, w- 
Wish You'd Stay by Brad Paisley. Yeah. You like that song a lot. Yeah, I do. Why? Because my best friend's boyfriend just moved away. Oh. A really good friend of mine and hers, and so it oh. kind of, you know, means a lot. And do you think that Brad Paisley is dreamy? I don't know. I've never seen him before. You haven't? No. Oh, okay. It's the K-Hey Long version. Facial hair, yes or no? That is the K Cafe question. 650 K. Careful of a traffic hazard uh, there on the westbound 118 just east of Cooner Drive. Be careful there. Okay. You know that this is the time. Oh, hello. It's our bouncer. Hello, Jesse. Hi, Matt. Hey, you were just about to talk about something, so I thought I would come in and interrupt you. Oh, yeah. Don't you love people who interrupt you, Matt? I think it's awesome. Well, we'll have that as a K Cafe question for another night. What do you think of facial hair? Yeah, look at my facial hair. I mean, it's cool. Wow. Yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm saying. I was wondering what you were saying. I was with American Child at the KH Santa Fe Cafe with Matt Michaels. What song is it? There's No Place That Far. I don't know who sings it. Sarah Evans and Vince Gill. Yeah. And that's for Ryan? Ryan. Um, can you tell him it's from Andra? Andra? Yeah. Okay. And where'd you guys meet? Um, Through my friend Tiffany. Tiffany! Tiffany right. did it. Ooh. All right. He six another chance to win Anthony Smith's new CD featuring that great song, If That Ain't Country. And that will get you entered in the KH Trip to the Country contest where you could win tickets to Knoxville, Tennessee to hang out and party and go crazy at a hotel in Gatlinburg and also to check out Dollywood in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Woo! Ooh, yeah, Dollywood. There's a... Um, I've never been to Dollywood, and that's a dream of mine to do that. There's a lot to see at Dollywood. And not just for the men. There's a lot to see in anybody's eyes, especially if they are a country fan. The, the country, country quiz. quiz! All right, let me distract you from what I was saying about Dollywood. To say, that's how the country quiz then started to sound. I had a little help from They Might Be Giants. If you'd like to play the KH Country Quiz, call now at 650-KH. We'll pick a contestant to play the KH Country Quiz. You could win Phil Vassar's latest CD, American Child, which came out very recently, featuring the huge title track hit, 650-KHAY. Watch your mailbox. Yes, They Might Be Giants. Oh, wait, did I say that on the podcast? That's not They Might Be Giants. That may not be minimum wage from the great album called Flood, the best album that ever came out from They Might Be Giants. Oh, no, I'm sure they've done other good ones. But that's one I remember particularly. Uh, you got to have a little birdhouse in your soul. All right. Our contestant is Tony from Ventura. Tony, let's look at the quiz wall and pick a topic from our three panels. Panel one says Katie Oslin's bobsled. Panel two says Toby Keith's big teeth. And panel three says Patsy Klein, Sassy Shine. Which one do you want? Toby Keith. Toby Keith's big teeth. Tony, the video for Toby Keith's You Shouldn't Kiss Me Like This featured Chadwick Pelletier from A. Hee Haw, B. Road Rules, C. Survivor. Which one, Tony? Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, no. Nope. Stay on the line, Tony. 650K okay. can try and steal the prize from Tony. But if you get it wrong, she gets a prize. Live radio. Sometimes people just freak out and they go comatose and you, you can't revive them. They're just gone. And then some. hopefully they come back because it's live radio. But you know, I think the answer is going to be... Road rules. Ventura Medical Group is pleased to announce the opening of Buena Ventura. Oh, 
Okie doke. The country queen. Katie from Santa Paula going to try and steal the prize from Tony and Ventura. Katie, the choices were A, hee haw, B, road rules, C, survivor. C, survivor. C, survivor. By the way, that echo happened because there was no delay. And she had her radio up. So she basically was just bouncing between her voice being transmitted through the airwaves via FM transmission to her radio and then bouncing back over the phone and hearing it through this tape that is over 20 years old. Oh, no. Actually, the answer was B, road rules. That means you get the prize by the ball, Tony. Enjoy the Phil Vassar. Get when you cross a person Aww, with a Phil disability. Phil Vassar. A- I loved Phil Vassar because he was one of those country play, uh, performers that was amazing on the piano and he would do a little Billy Joel. Hey, as we wrap up the Hey Santa Fe Cafe today, whoops. <laughs> Isn't that weird? It's been over 20 years and I still uh, automatically just flip back into it. Dang, that's crazy. The brain. Uh, here at Cafe Anyway, <laughs> I should remind you that if you are listening to this on August 6th, which is entirely possible because August 5th is just about over, it is apropos because it is National Root Beer Float Day. Thank you, Brewmaster, for the root beer. And next time, bring me a root beer float. Drink it right now, can't you? I, I did have some of your peppermint root beer, but it wasn't a root beer float. That's why I'm sad, and that's why it's National Wiggle Your Toes Day on August 6th, which you should do. And if you have any problem with your feet, go see your doctor, because that could mean bad things ahead, and you could lose your foot. And believe me, I have had family members that did. So it's not something that happens to far off land, far off people, far off something. It could happen right to you, so be careful. Consult a professional. And let's hear it for friends because it's National Friendship Day. And also National Sisters Day. And also National Fresh Breath Day. Oh, let's hear it for fresh breath, which you can get by drinking peppermint root beer, oddly enough, if it doesn't kill you. Or if the root beer uh, brewmaster doesn't kill you. Anyway, Cafe Anyway, if you'd like to chime in about anything we covered today, 510-228-4640. Don't call 650-KHA. I don't think it still works, but that would be in the 805 area code if you wanted to try that. But 510-228-4640 if you want to call me. And with more ways to reach me, it's A-Frame. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.